Since the year 2000, the Nigerian Port Authority, on behalf of the government, has led a process of port privatization and concessioning. So it comes as no surprise that a key part of its focus is to attract more and more foreign investment to Nigerian ports to complement the array of indigenous operators on the scene. So with a view to promoting a healthy competition for the benefit of port users, something the government is keen to promote. This is Nigerian Port Today. Good to have you back on the show that informs you on the weekly operational activities happening within and around the port across the nations. Before we start this season, let's have a recap of our previous episodes we brought to you in Season 1. In episode 1 and 2, we had the first ever regional conference of International Association of Ports and Harbour held in Abuja as the conference was flagged off by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari. Some key players in the industry were in attendance. The conference was to foster a way to promote efficiency in service delivery in our ports with concentration on interland connectivity. We went further to look at the operational activities of the directorates, starting from the Directorate of Finance and Administration. The discussion with Executive Director Mohamed Belo Koko. We also spoke with the General Manager of Finance Simon E. Aniobi and General Manager Human Resources Yaya Buka in Episode 3. Episode 4 took us to the Directorate of Marine and Operations where we met with the Executive Director and the General Manager M&O who told us how the Nigerian Ports Authority is contributing towards the consolidation of national strength. Episode 5 was a visit to the Directorate of Engineering and Technical Services where he educated us on the dredging of ports, construction of infrastructure and general works across the ports, including road networks, amongst other operational activities. Episode 6 We had a chat with a visionary team leader, the managing director of Nigerian Ports Authority, Adiz Abala Usman, as she shed more light on her vision, aspiration and lots more in the sector and beyond. Episode 7. We wrapped up Season 1 by bringing you a discourse with stakeholders, Senior Staff Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, NPA Chapter, as they recounted and gave more insight of the visionary transformation of the Nigerian Ports Authority Managing Director, Adiza Bala Usman. Let's go for a quick break. When we return, we shall continue as we bring to you the spotlight on West African Port and Real Evolution Forum that I held in Lagos. We'll be right back. From West Africa to Nigeria, down to Port Accord, the capital of rivers, the chief oil refining state is Boni Channel Company, established to ensure safe navigation of Boni Channel and Boni Rivers to eastern port of Boni, One, Port Accord, and Okrika. At BCC, we carefully and professionally plan, manage, execute maintenance, capital dredging works, Wreck removals, maintenance of aids of navigation, quarterly bathmetric surveys, and management training of the Nigerian Port Authority officials. Our mission is to engender an environment of safe and efficient navigation of vessels in and out of port and harbors of Bonny. BCC is a joint venture partnership between the Nigerian Port Authority and the Channel Management Company, TCM. B. 
This is C, clearing the way for safe navigation. It's no secret that the port and rail sectors are a vital part of the supply chain in Africa, enabling goods and services to be transported to meet the swelling demands of the population. Investment in such and their related infrastructure is therefore key to advance trade and stimulate economic development. At Landmark Event Center, industry professionals gathered to enhance both their personal and professional development as they attended this high-level West African Port and Rail Evolution Forum. This provided a unique opportunity for coastal and hinterland stakeholders to identify proven, future-proofed solutions for demand-driven port and rail expansion as well as best practices in operations and efficiency improvements. Organized by DMG Events, hosted by the Nigerian Ports Authority and Nigerian Railways Corporation and supported by Federal Ministry of Transportation, the forum created a platform for a discourse on Africa's ports and rail connectivity infrastructure. The Nigerian Ports Authority boss, Hadiza Bala Usman, in her address, stated that no country should contemplate establishing ports without the complement of adequate rail transportation. African ports and rail evolution, which brings together stakeholders across the sub-region and the entire value chain of suppliers and buyers in the ports and rail section of transportation. Given the fact that the essential global nature of maritime sector and the complementary roles of other transportation nodes and especially rail, plays an important role in port operations. There is no gain saying the importance of four operations in all of these sectors need to come together and discuss issues that will improve the conditions of their processes and the overall economy of our country and West African sub-region as a whole. A gathering of this nature provides us with the opportunity to leverage on one another's expertise through discussions that create platforms focused on resolving complex logistic issues, thereby preparing us for greater efficiency and sustainability. The Director General and Chief Executive Officer, Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission under the Presidency, Engineer Chidi Casey Izua, noted the need for African countries to ensure that adequate provision is made in the area of port infrastructure as the developed nations of the world have over time placed emphasis on developing their infrastructure which would further enhance import port operation and efficient terrace delivery across board. Uh, I just want to thank DMG events on behalf of His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari, our president whose only ambition Nigeria to the next level. And you would agree that sorting out transportation and connectivity, it's very key to that. I don't think since independence anybody is done as much as our current president is on the transport sector. The rail is back, our ports are booming, the economy is there. We've got a little problems here and there. A little problems here and there, but that the president is very determined to solve it and to take the country to the next level and create that's you know, the platform for us to, you know, go to the sky. The theme of the two-day conference was defining the future of the transport infrastructure, maintenance and expansion in West Africa. You are still watching my channel Port today. Follow us and join the conversation on all our social media platforms on your screen to get more information and updates. Like they say, the reward for good work is more work. This was the focal point on the occasion of the year 2017-2018 Long Service Merit Awards Ceremony of the Nigerian Port Authority held in Lagos, where the management encouraged and appreciated some of her dedicated and hardworking staff. Let's enjoy some high life. From West Africa to Nigeria, down to Port Accord, the capital of Rivers, the chief oil refining state, is born a channel company 
established to ensure safe navigation of Borne Channel and Borne Rivers to eastern port of Borne, One, Port Accord, and Okrika. At BCC, we carefully and professionally plan, manage, execute maintenance, capital dredging works, wreck removals, maintenance of aids of navigation, quarterly bathmetric surveys, and management training of the Nigerian Port Authority officials. Our mission is to engender an environment of safe and efficient navigation of vessels in and out of port and harbors of burning. BCC is a joint venture partnership between the Nigerian Port Authority and the Channel Management Company, TCM. BCC, clearing the way for safe navigation. Like the say, the reward for good work is more work as this is the focal point on the occasion of the year 2017-2018 Long Service Merit Award Ceremony of the Nigerian Ports Authority held in Lagos. The joy of every establishment is to have motivated workers. Hence, the Nigerian Ports Authority Managing Director, Hadiza Bala Usman, reiterated the management determination and recognizing at all times the efforts of his workforce who have contributed positively over the years in the area of optimal dedication and the high level of professionalism through improved welfare in its quest to attaining hub status within Africa. She stated that the management was willing and would strive at improving the welfare of the staff and further motivate them to work harder in all spheres towards the sustainability and realization of reforms and backed upon to meet it international best practice in a competitive environment. When Nigerian Ports Authority is recognizing the labor of some of its personnel, having this event and making it as elaborate as it is come from our determination to register the premium we place on the contribution of members of staff in the development of the authority. This is a very ambitious management one which is determined not to leave the MPA where it met it, but to push it forward to meet international best practices. This management of the Nigerian Post Authority is committed to not just changing the way things are done momentarily, but in bequeathing a tradition of transparency, excellent service delivery that will make our ports in the hub, in the hub of the African region the best in the whole continent. We understand that the workforce is an integral part of whatever good stories we will be able to achieve and tell about initiatives, hence determination to periodically show appreciation for the dedication of our staff. The award came in different categories. Staff that have worked with the Nigerian Post Authority for 25 years, long service award. Staff who showcased acts of bravery and most committed and dedicated staff as the awardees were drawn from across the various ports. Also in attendance were the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, who was represented by the Honorable Minister of Industries, Trade and Investment, Otumba Adeniyi Adebayo. Nothing can be more gratifying to a dedicated worker than recognition and celebration. And I want to commend the Board and Management of Nigerian Port Authority for the foresight that birthed this occasion, which I understand had not held in a long time. Recognition and rewards mean more when they are publicly communicated. So by going beyond communicating through emails or newsletters to organizing a prestigious event of this magnitude, the management of NPA has demonstrated the high premium it places on its human resources. Indeed, this award ceremony is very much in harmony with the imperative of the next level agenda, which is to make Nigerians reap the rewards of our collective patrimony. As you would have noticed, the President Mohamedou Buhari administration prioritizes the welfare of its workers, regardless of whether they are still in service or retired. The Honorable Minister of Labor and Productivity, Dr. Chris Ngige. It's also something of joy when we notice that uh, establishments of federal government are striving to make their workers happy. Because uh, for Minister of Labor, if the workers are happy, it's less job for me. And I must tell you that uh, the MPA, the unions in the MPA, uh, the unions that are not giving me too much trouble. 
they have not been complaining about their bosses, which is the management. You know that uh, in this game, it is a, a talk of war, you push me, I push you. Uh, the union people want to get every, every, everything they can get. And after a while, they ask for increase in those things. So I don't know how my sister will be managing it. Maybe the revenue has also fallen. So the union people, they go and sniff, peep. They see that the thing is falling. So they keep quiet a little bit. Members of the Nigerian Post Authority Board of Directors, its past managing directors and captains of industries within the maritime subsector. It was a night for merry, fun, and to unwind while appreciating themselves for the much work done so far. Very big congratulations to the awardees as this will serve as a big encouragement to them to work more harder. That's the much we could bring to you in this episode. In our subsequent episodes in season two, we shall be focusing on the operational activities in our various ports, from Lagos Port Complex, Ababa Wharf, to Tinkan Island Port, both in Lagos operational areas, and we shall move to port in Wari Delta State. Port Accord on the in River State and Calabar in Cross River State, as we shall bring to you our charts for the port managers, their vision, challenges, and plans to improve on the port's revenue, thereby sustaining the ease of doing business in our nation seaports. Until I come your way, don't forget that the Nigerian Port Authority is a gateway to our nation's economy. Bye.